guys. Happy Saturday. No Sunday. Yes, happy Sunday. <laughs> I wanted to jump on here. It's been a while, right? Guys, I got sicker than sick could be. And the holidays. So now I'm just bail. And then I ran out of my mojo. That was the worst. So <clears throat> I'm behind on videos. So let's go ahead and dive in. I'm guest designing for Erica. Here's her information. I will have her information below. I also have a coupon code, which is Anna10. Please use it. Save your 10% and get any of these dies or anything that she has available. Like I said, I will have that information below. I will also have um, <clears throat> the info below of... Let me just show you these. It's just easier to show this just in case someone asks. I did use this collection and I did purchase it from Frank Garcia Studio. I will have it linked below if you'd like to get your hands on this absolutely stinking cute collection. Okay, so I wanted to show you the paper collection I used. And also too, we're gonna, I used these right here, which I also purchased from Frank. I will have that linked below. And I'm gonna also create a, a memory decks with you. And that's this one right here that does the little picture thingy, whatever it is called. Viewfinder. I think that's what it is. <laughs> okay, guys. So let me show you first what I made. I did do some bag toppers because um, she does have a bag topper die that says love on it. I did not get that die, but I wanted bag toppers. So I used her dies, which are these absolutely beautiful bow dies. It has two different sizes. And I used the largest size on this one. This right here comes with this one right here, okay? And I used this to make the bag topper because it does not cut a circle in the middle, only on the outside, okay? And then the inside right here, I used this one. Now, what I did do, if you notice, is I cut it in half right here because I noticed that when I layer like that and then I fold it, it just buckles the paper. I, it, I don't like it. So I just purposely cut it right down the middle and then um, <clears throat> and then I adhered them on. And then I just used the fallout from, um, from, I believe from this one right here. Those are the little fallouts. So I put those on the bows. I put the little blings in the middle, I use a little pom-pom. I did that on this one as well. I used basil cardstock, which is 110 pound. And the collection is probably about a 65 pound weight. So you see that those two dies, they cut through either heavy or um, the light. So you'll see here, how stinking cute, right? I love adding little things on my bows that are like right at the edges. I love that look. I also did make some using the collection and I made um, some shaker glasses. I love this die, it's so stinking cute. And then the little shaker bits are the ones that they sell at Michael's. It has like about seven different shakers. And I use the same shaker for all of them. I use the little fallouts for the little corners. I put some blings there. I did not want to go too crazy and add um, a bunch of stuff in here or add stickles on the edges because I just felt like if it was too much, since everything's so busy on here that you wouldn't, I don't know. I just didn't do it. Maybe I'll change my mind later. But for right now, I wanted to kind of just leave these the way they were. Okay, and when I did my shakers for this one, I did this heart cut six times. And this right here is one 10 pound cart stock um, from Basil. So I did not do the foam because for whatever reason, I have my three millimeter foam. I just didn't like the way it turned out. Maybe if I had two millimeter and I doubled it up, it would probably would have been better. But the one I did it, it just was wonky. And I only ran it through once because Erica does say, don't run your um, your dye when you're using foam back and forth, back and forth, because then it just flattens it and it just distorts it. So <clears throat> I use, that's what I did on mine. I added six layers of this right here, okay? Then I did, this is the viewfinder, okay? And I hung some charms and it's a shaker. And this one, I did use foam. It was much easier for the foam. I did use some bling right here. Okay, and then I added the outline hearts and then I backed it and then I just put this cute little wooden button and I believe um, Susan um, 
Laverty gifted me these pretty buttons a while ago, so I just put that on the back. But we are going to go ahead and do an envelope in the back. And I hung some dangles, put an eyelet through there, and that's what I did. Okay, so this is what we're gonna make together, guys. All right. And I tell you, I love the fact that with these glasses, you got two. So I didn't have to run these each 500 times because that would have super sucked. <laughs> so, all right. Now, the one that we are going to do is this one. All right. So let me grab my crocodile because we are going to need a crocodile. We are also going to need an eyelet, which... Apparently, I did not grab before the video, so let's do that now. Let's see if I have any tiny ones in here. Oops. I, really have, I love the extra large eyelets. Those are like my fave. But I do need to get some smaller ones. I don't have very many of those. All right, we'll use the purple one. Okay. All right. All right, so when I do this, I'm gonna get closer. Okay, so when I do these, I wanna do, because I know that the adhesive needs to dry longer when you're doing with the acetate, with your foam. So this is the first thing I'm gonna do, okay? So what you do is you get this, and you're gonna adhere it on top. So when you run your die through <clears throat> this one, you're gonna run it one with the top cardstock you wanna use. You're gonna run it through again for your acetate. You're gonna run it again for your foam. Three times you're gonna run this for three different things. And what I like is that it doesn't automatically, this acetate, it doesn't cut these out. So that's like perfect. I did have to cut around the edges because it does not cut through all the way. And I, I, if I stuck a shim, I just feel like it would have like bowed it because it would have ran it real tight. You can cut around this. That's not a, it's super easy. Okay. I did run this through. Um, I did it once, twice. And, um, and then I was able to rip it apart. This is a three millimeter foam. And so that's that. So let's go ahead and I use Nuvo for everything. I know I've mentioned this to you guys all the time because this is like my all-time favorite. Now let's see if, all right, oops. All right, so when I tend to do, let's see if it's stuck, oh, it's not, yes. <laughs> so when I do like, when they're like right, right here, I just put little dots and I try not to get the dots too close to where the acetate part is. Because when you squeeze it down, and, and let me tell you guys, a lot of the times I fail. So I just clean it out. It's, I'm not worried about it. And um, yeah, because you just kind of want to not go ham with adding too much of this, especially when it's going to be too close to the acetate. So just adding little dots, but you just want to make sure that it's on every single part. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and cover this with our acetate. Let's see if I get it to where it seeps through. I normally always have to clean it out, guys, no matter how easy it's for me to tell you what to do. <laughs> um, a lot of the times I don't get it right. And it's okay, guys. I don't want to stress that stuff. You know, as crafters, if you were to lift half of our projects, you would see a, an absolute mess. Ripped paper, things that we ripped up, put back on, right? So let's not worry about small stuff like that. We could always fix it. In worst case, recut it out. I'm not worried about it. So, all right. So I just wanna make sure that it is adhered, okay? So now I have this on the acetate. Now I'm gonna add this onto the foam, but I'm gonna put the adhesive on the foam. Okay, and then we're going to set this aside and we are going to um, let it dry and we'll start adhering the other stuff so that by the time we add our shaker bits, um, it'll be um, semi, semi, it should be dried. 
This glue right here is Amaze Balls. I love it. I use it for so many things. Okay, so just little dots, kind of around the edge. And let's see, did I get everything? Okay. Then we're gonna add this on top. Okay. And keep in mind, when you're putting acetate directly on foam, it moves around. So you need to make sure that, I, what I do is I put something on top of it that is, um, let's do this stuff. Something that is, um, will lay flat on it. See, and it did get over a little bit. See how it, it's, it went in there just a smidge, see? I don't care about that. I'm not worried about that. We are not gonna worry about that type of small thing. Okay. All right. So let me find something heavy that lays flat. All right, so let me push this to the side and then we're gonna go ahead and let that dry. Okay. So now let's move on to this right here. Let's do the actual inside here only because it got this little things. So let's, I do the front and the back. I did them the same color. And then we're just gonna, and I'll put it through each of the lines. You don't need to go too crazy adding it because this is not gonna be something that moves around. But you do wanna make sure your edges are um, got adhesive all the way around them so they don't peel up. Okay, and then we're gonna match it. So you wanna make sure, because you see, there's these little notches right here, these little notches. Make sure you match it with the notches on this one so that it looks complete. Okay, so you see that we have it here. All right. Okay, this is probably the easiest part is adding <laughs> this together. Okay, all right. So, all right, all right. Okay, so now I'm gonna pick the three hearts that I want to stick out. Now you can be, like for instance right here, you see there's a little heart right there. These are the three hearts I'm gonna use that will be the ones that stick out of the viewfinder, okay? So these are gonna be the three that I add these little hearts to, okay? Actually right here. All right, now yes, these are little tiny itty bitty things, but I'm gonna use these handy dandy little tweezers right here, oops. And then we're gonna add our glue to the very edge. Now it's so funny because this is a separate little die. And you know, a lot of people don't wanna mess with these little tiny things. But man, when you add them on there, it's just the cutest little thing. Now if I'm doing 15 of these or something for like a swap, no girl, I'm not doing these. <laughs> this will not be the project I do. So, um, but if you're doing it one time or maybe a couple times, you're fine. You are okay, okay? So let's go ahead and add the next one. So it was funny thing is that I was about to upload my video yesterday, right? And Erica saw my Instagram post. She's like, you gotta do a tutorial on your viewfinder. And in my mind, I'm like, what? I just did a video, I'm about to upload it. So I had to delete that one. And then today I had, I'm, I went ahead and recut a bunch of things out so that I could do this with you guys. So if you get this, you know, sometimes it's nice to see, well, I know it is because I love to watch um, tutorials and Erica does a, a lot of her tutorials on her dies. Um, but everybody has kind of like their own little thing, you know? And that's the cool part is that you learn this stuff and you find your own rhythm, what works best for you. There's a lot of times I learn things and it's from five different people. I pick up a little something from each person. And okay, so, um, all right. Let's go ahead and get this heart straight. 
That's what I love about liquid glue is it gives you wiggle room on projects, okay? So you see, I made sure to add the heart would be the one in the center. So when we layer it like this, that's what's gonna show through and that's what you want, okay? So let's go ahead and start adhering these. You could also take this on up a notch and then cut that with foam so that that's lifted and then you have the shaker lifted, but I don't wanna do all that because there's enough already with what is um, with the top part. So I'm okay, I don't need to add that. But if you want to, have at it. All right, so we're gonna add this onto this one. Okay, and I love it because it has the little grooves right there so you know exactly where to line it up. Okay. All right. All righty. Okay. Now we're gonna add this onto the 110 cardstock. I prefer to use 110. I like it to be as stable as possible. So I buy all my Basil cardstock from Frank because I buy the individual sheets. I don't really need to have 50 sheets of one color. This way I just grab a couple of all the colors that I want and that works for me. All right, and then let's see. And you wanna make sure when you get in here that you get these little tiny pieces right here because this is the part that you take off and on your wheel or whatever housing system you have your uh, memory dexes on. So you wanna make sure you have adhesive around these parts right here so that you're, they don't come detached. All right, so then we're gonna add this on top. All righty, perfect. I'll make sure that stays adhered really snug okay so now we have this part now we're gonna adhere this okay so what I do is I already know that these are the be the three that pop out okay so I add adhesive all at the bottom here Hope you guys had an amazing Christmas and New Year's. You know, New Year's is nothing for me. Let me just tell you, I only look forward to having the day off of work and I wait for the New York ball to drop and that's that's nine o'clock because <laughs> Lord knows I could not last till midnight and I was on my own, you know. It's kind of a bummer though when you bring in the New Year without, you know, your children or family or, you know, significant other. That does kind of suck but I'm used to it. It's kind of how it's been for a very long time. All right, so let's go ahead and add a little bit here. Okay. And then we're gonna add this on top. I got a little bit of glue on the outside, but we're okay with that. Let's wipe that off, wipe that off. And then we'll just flip that over. And make sure you're holding this down with one hand while you're doing this, or you're just gonna shift it all the way over. And I moved it a smidge. So I love it that I had wiggle room. Okay. And alrighty. And now we're gonna do this side right here. And we're gonna add our back piece to cover this. Let me see. Yeah. And the cool thing is, is either way it fits. You know, like sometimes you can't do that with certain dies um, because of a certain shape will be on one side and maybe not on the other. So with this one, you don't have to worry about that. It's equal on either side. All right, let's get some glue down here. And all right. Flip this over and make sure you're even with all the layers you just did. Now there will be a little, um, there will be a little where you can see from the wheel, but it's not that big a deal, guys. 
it's very, very not that noticeable. And that's why I like using the heavyweight cardstock. Because if you were to use 65 pound, oh, you would totally be able to see, you know, the back. But I mean, if you're really picky and you don't want to, I get it. But this way, since it's 110, see guys, you can barely see it through here and I like that and that's because two I used 65 pound weight two times instead of if I used 110 pound 110 pound plus this oh it would have been too bulky okay you don't need heavyweight cardstock for this middle part like at all and maybe even if you wanted to you could probably just cut off that wheel and then remove all of this part since you don't need any of it and then it'll just be that part you know maybe just cut right here toss this out or save this actually because you could turn it over and make another wheel so you can make or two memory dexes so you could do that as well that's a good idea Anna I wish I would have thought of that earlier <laughs> okay now let's go ahead and add I have this right here this heart is the fallout to this right here so that's what this one is and we are going to sometimes you get little paper or pieces and this is the you and then more um love you more is part of the the love die which I did not use I just used the you and the more on it and this is 110 pound cardstock just so you know it cut through like butter so let's go ahead and Okay, I'm so excited that my glue, I haven't had to use a needle on my glue yet. Because this glue, it does dry fast. And um, sometimes the, it dries out too quick before I even have a chance. You know, it's like I put it down and then I go to use it again and it's already dried. But that's why I have a needle this time. You weren't going to get me this time. Okay. Oh, no. All right, we're good, we're good. All right, let's add a little bit on the edges there. All right. Okay, so we're just gonna line this up right where I feel like I want it. Okay. It's all right, if a little bit of glue gets on that, I don't care. Okay, so there's the U. Then I'm going to add a little heart right there. And okay. And then we could actually add, pop this up on the, um, the what you call it. Well, let me see. We'll see if what I'm feeling. And then let's do the more part. Okay. And alrighty. It is so beautiful in California today, guys. I look forward to this cheesy winter they have because it's not a real winter. Like some of you girls out in the East Coast, you know, you guys have like for real winters. I miss those. I really do. Um... Our winter is like, uh, what, 48 degrees at night, <laughs> 64 to 65 degrees in the day. That is not, I want to bust out beanies and, and, you know, like real stuff. And I can't because I get hot fast. I run so hot. It's annoying. And um, let's see if that's the way I want it right there. So I can only bundle up so much. And not to mention, you guys already know I'm going through the old lady change. All right, let's see how we're doing here. So here is this right here. Now you'll see, you see how it comes out the edge a little bit? No worries. We will just cut that part off. My only concern is that it doesn't in here. I don't want the foam to fall in here, squished in here. I would prefer it to fall off the edges so that I can just cut that off, okay? And I kind of always cut in just a little bit. I can feel it's not completely dry yet, but that's all right. I don't have to cut this anyways. OK. 
Okay, and then it's out here a little bit. Okay, and then up top here. Well, maybe actually, hold on. Yeah, it still needs to dry, okay. It's not complete yet, but let's go ahead anyways. I didn't know if I wanted to pop this up or not. I'd leave it, you know what, let's pop it up. <laughs> right, why not? Let me get some, um, actually, hold up, wait a minute. We will use some of the three millimeter foam I have right here and just use the cut off a piece. I don't need to go get a pop dot because nobody sees this part. Okay, so I'm good with that. Got the little corners off so they don't peek out. Okay, and then we're gonna put the adhesive in the back. We're gonna put that back here. That's what I love about the foam sheets is that um, you can use them for this type of thing as well. So we have this in the middle like that. So then when we add our shaker bits, it'll go like this. And then it'd be the heart for like love you more. And then we just add our shaker bits in there. Okay, it's coming together guys. All right. Now let's go ahead and let this sit just a little longer to adhere. And um, and then um, we're gonna punch the hole. I love this thing. I have had the biggest, the big crocodile one for since it first came out. I still have the original one, but that's meant for like 12 inch paper. So I've used it for sandals. I've used it for belts. I've used it for purse straps. This thing right here, go, oh, it's game changer guys. But I did buy this one from Frank because I needed something to carry in my craft bag. So I love this thing. Okay, so let's go ahead and I need the bigger hold one for this size, which I don't know which size these are. I don't have very many of those. All right, so we're gonna have this hanging off. Slide right here. Let's see. And when I push these holes, I push, I don't try to go too far in because I gotta keep in mind the fact that I need to get a jump ring that has to fit through there, okay? So I kind of put it like that. Because we see how you, how perfect that is? So that when I hook a jump ring on that, I can fit it around. If you put it too far in, you're not gonna get a jump ring to fit through there, okay? I already have it preset to what I need for this size. Okay, and it's so easy to squeeze, guys. Love this thing! Okay, now. All right, so we did that. Now let's get the sequins, or the little shaker bits. And these were the ones that I told you that, for Michaels, I know a lot of us probably have this one. I've had this for forever. So a lot of these colors are in this thing, except for this one is not in there. But it would be fun to just add a pop of color or something different. So what I do, let's do the blue first, is I just put a little pile here, a little pile there. Okay. And let's add some yellow. Don't go too crazy because the windows are only so big. We'll add some green. Because these are, oh, geez Louise. <laughs> That's all right. Can't win. All right. And then. That's probably plenty. <laughs> this side did not get very much love. So let's go ahead. And then let's just add a little bit of orange, just something that really pop out. And we're gonna see right now if I went a little too, <laughs> see what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, we're good. 
We are good. I'm not gonna worry about the small stuff. Let's get that over a little bit. Okay, try to make sure these are as even as possible. All right, let's see. Okay, it's probably a little too much. Let's see, make them a little more rectangular as opposed to circle. If it's too much, I'll just wipe it off. I'm not gonna worry about over pouring. Okay. And this is probably the part that takes me a little longer is getting these where they need to be. So if you were to use microbeads, that would not work because they will go all over the place. They'll static clean to this unless you're using like a little powder brush thingy, which actually, what? I forgot. That's right here, which takes away the static. It's just like a baby powder, guys. <laughs> I just got it because it was at Frank's and we were using... Um, and it does, you don't want to go too crazy because it does leave like, um, oh, it smells so good. Like, uh, like it fogs it up a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. So I just blow inside of it and all right, let's see. All right, let's do it. Oh my gosh. Let's see if it turns out a mess or not because it's still not too dry on the top yet. I need to lay something on it. And on the outskirts, because you know what, it's almost impossible guys too, to not get some of these shaker bits to get stuck to the glue. I, I've never been successful without something getting stuck. And that's probably because like I said, I add too much and I'm okay with that and I'm not worried about it. So I'm doing it more towards the edge and all right, so that's why you want to do this very last and get everything done because, oh gosh, just do that. All right. And then you want to make sure it's like centered. I did put too many in there. <laughs> I can totally feel that I went a little too ham. But I'm going to live. I'm not so worried about it. Okay. Yeah, that's a lot. But oh well. <laughs> All right. So, and that's it, guys. I'm going to set it off to the side. Um, I don't have, I forgot to bring dangles with me. But I'll hang some dangles right there. Oh, and I forgot to do that. All right. You guys, hopefully you guys are still hanging in there with me. And um, let me go ahead and set this to the side right here. And, um... Oh yeah, I have to add these too. I swear, this was a bigger project than expected, right? All this little stuff you gotta do. And we were gonna do an envelope. I wish I had some that were already done so I didn't have to um, create one. But let's see. Okay, and I'm gonna get my blings out here so I can have these ready in my pokey tool. Not my pokey tool, it's the picker. It's a picker. And then let me get my, where is my little punch board? Cause I have this super tiny one and I didn't, I didn't have my craft bag. Oh, here it is. Hold these. All right. All right, so I have that little cutie patootie, guys. That's a game changer. If you don't have that little tiny thing, you need to have it. All right, so let me see what size I need. I'm wondering if a one by one, we'll see. We'll do the two by two, by two since I didn't cut out the paper. Sorry, guys. But we're gonna do it right now, so bear with me and hopefully that is the right size. I think it might be a little too small actually because this looks super tidy. Um, I think that'll be too small because once I fold it all together, yeah, let's, <laughs> let's go up a notch. Um, how about the three and one eighth by the three and one eighth? 
Let's see, because once you fold it all together, I'm thinking it'll, you know, um, let's hope that's right. Sorry guys, I totally forgot to do this. I'm gonna have this out. So we have this one right here, which is the three and one eighth, or the three and one eighth. And let's go ahead and scoot that to the side. Isn't this the cutest thing ever, guys? I'm <laughs> so done. Okay, so we have the three and one eighth with the three and one eighth, and it's telling you that we need to score it at one and three quarters. All right. And I don't have my glasses on, but there we go. Did it say one and three quarters? Yes. All right. And you only do this the one time. I know, you, I'm assuming that you guys already know how to use these, because after that, you're just gonna follow the line every time you go around right there, that little line. That's what you're gonna follow all the way through. You only use the measurement one time. Okay. Oh, dang it, I forgot to. Let's do that again. All right. Then we're gonna put this line right here. Punch score. I need to remember. Punch score. Punch score. Okay. So, put that there. It's been a while since I used my little cutie patootie. Actually, let's go ahead and do the top part as well. And it rounds it off. Okay. This is, what bit, this is the smart one, guys. This is the one that's going to be the winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right. And then we will close that off. Yes. Please say this is the one, Anna. <laughs> Score. I could have probably even gone up one more size. But you know what? We're going to roll with this size right here. Adhesives. And the way I always add adhesive, I always add it to the flaps down here first. Because you don't want to get it um, on the, um, to where it sticks to here. Okay. Alrighty. Look at how cute. I love these little envelopes. They are so stinking cute. Okay. So this will fit, can you imagine, look at how small that would have been if I did that tiny one. Let's just do that one while it's drying. I hope you guys are not like, oh my God, get it together, woman. And if you are, it's okay. You can just go ahead and, you know, stop my uh, video. So this tells me to score at one, okay? Right now, it's my project is sitting to the side over there anyways, um, drying. This is super tiny. How stinking cute. I can't. I love, love my envelope. I have the original bigger one. I love it. Like a lot. This one right here, you definitely want to do the corners. But how cute is this? I'm so done. That is adorable, guys. Look how tiny that is. It's like one inch by one inch. That is so tiny, look at the difference. How cute. Oh, I love this thing. This is absolutely adorable. I think I got mine. I don't know where you would get these now, but I got mine at Tuesday morning 100 years ago. And I haven't stepped foot into a Tuesday morning, guys, because it's nowhere. I went, actually, I'm lying. I went one time. And it's like a ghost town. So I was like, eh, I'm over it. All right. So let's get this back here. And let's add you to the back. And okay. What I'm going to do for this one, I'm not going to add the glue. I'm going to just use my tape runner. And go from there. Normally I would, but I just don't feel like waiting for that to dry too. So, okay. Oops, got a 
wing on there. All right. I'm just going to add this to the back. Try to straighten that out. So this is the middle. Oh, I should have went a little higher. Hold on. Oh, that's not done. That's why I need to do it like this. All right, good enough. Okay. I got a little glue on the outside. It's fine. All right. And then right here, I'll probably add some type of um, Velcro piece. But how cute is that to add into the back? And then here's the front. It's a lot in there, but not too bad. You know, I like to go a little crazy. So let's do the little bling blings. Still need to add it up here so it doesn't, I feel like I need it. So what I do is I actually add the dots first. So I'll go in the middle, on the side, on the side, here, here. And that's kind of how I do them. And then I'll drop the beads on them. So I'll do it in the middle. Just so that I can have it as centered as possible instead of going one, two, three, because then it doesn't always for me fails. Okay, so we have all of our blings here. And then what I do is I add the biggest one in the middle. And, and you get a little bit of time. So the cool thing is, is that um, even if it doesn't line up when you put them on here, you have, you have some wiggle room. All right, we have a medium size here. And then I think this is the medium one here. And then add this one here, here, and then I look for the super tiny ones, and I put those hopefully right there. And then I look, and then I see. Okay, is that? Yeah. That's pretty, that's pretty straight for me. I'm good with it. All right, let me find some other itty bitties. And there's one. And then here's two. Bam. How flipping cute is this? So I hope you guys hung in there with me because I know it was a long one. Who would have thought this is this little project right here took that long? But there's a lot of steps, you know. So I'm going to go ahead and let this dry a little bit longer. Um, and that's it, guys. So that's how you put together this viewfinder. I will add the charms later. And that's it. So thank you guys so much for stopping by. And um, I have so many videos I got to do, guys. And I'm going to do... Um, an itty bitty bracelet stack that's coming up next just with itty bitty simple stacked like these are all mother of pearl and hearts and then i just have one little tiny thing right here so stay tuned i got jewelry videos coming up i cannot wait i totally miss doing my jewelry all right guys have an amazing and blessed sunday and i will see you very very soon and stay blessed guys bye